Hi everyone, welcome back to Big Vince Tech. And today, I'm an idiot. As you guys all know, my beloved satellite Roadrunner clone, I call false advertisement. Well, her oil pressure's getting a little low. So I'm gonna do the right thing and take it to a drag strip and blow it to smithereens. As you see, we kinda deleted a few items. So after many hard miles, and kind of a long tiring life, we're actually going to retire this 318. Don't mind what it says up there, that's all false advertisement. To give you a little backstory on this 318, we still probably keep the heads just because they are 360 heads. So this is that police 318, the one that somewhat is sort of sought after, but we decoded it and was out of a diplomat police car, so thank you Jamie from Dead Dodge Garage for that. So let's get the show on the road. Many miles, many trips, many memories. I feel like I'm closing a casket. Did I mention foolishly? I installed a four point, excuse me, a five point harness in this car. What a bloody circus to get this thing on. But it's mandatory, supposedly. I'm still fighting this stupid thing. That one, that one, that. Ah! Get in. This looks so wrong. Finally! Ha! I'm ready for the ball. And away we go. So far, so good. I just realized when I took the back seat out that there is 10 tons of crap blowing from back there all the way in my face. You know, my face. Now, if we notice the oil pressure, it is extremely low for what speed we're actually doing and the RPM wise. I don't know if you noticed the gauge in the beginning of the video, but it was significantly higher. But we do have some beautiful country back roads and that's the way we're taking to Bradington. making me go through a fancy housing development to get to a racetrack the world may never know oh my goodness i feel so out of place this is so bad oh man i can't even afford the pillar to that one i'm so sorry folks ah it's actually worse than what it looks like well my parents used to say make an impression wherever you go or leave a mark on people's uh, lives. So far, I left a mark on these people's uh, paper with grease and antifreeze and oil and an extremely weird smell of the brake now. So this evening ought to go real good. Time like the present. So this is how it ends. Well, if you 
the figures. They're putting me in group A. The first ones to run. Great. Funny part is I ordered a cheeseburger, but my group's already up. So this kind of sucks. I just realized something. That's literally gonna be fast food. I'm amongst giants. Here we go. I beat the beamer. Well, I'm not gonna enjoy this. Almost like a victory dinner. So evidently the guy that I'm supposed to be running is not staged yet. There was only five cars in my class that's actually registered, but uh, where you at? Okay. Now it's a hurry up and waiting to hurry up. Did I mention how much of a dumb idea this is? Negative 12, do not recommend, incredibly atest. So they got me going against that uh, third gen right there. Oh, damn. That's incredibly atest. I have zero oil pressure. Oh, no. My home, my home, my home, my home. Now this was kind of the unfortunate part. I did lose the footage of the second race, but however, he red lighted, and this is also called foreshadowing. Just one more run, buddy. That's all I ask. Just one more. You can do this. So now I'm staged up, ready to go on my third round. This is it. Six cylinder Mustang. So here we go. victory lane so this video is probably going to be a little bit out of order but bear with me it is the next day and i am beyond impressed the oil pressure is some the door still squeaks and the trophy is just a shining so can you kill a 318 absolutely you can there is no doubt it is possible this one's just not ready to die yet and i don't know why so with that being said, let's go back to the other clip. Well guys, I think that's gonna do it. I guess 318's a last forever too. I'm, I'm at a loss, I can't understand this. False advertisement, you impressed me some kind of much. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching. We're gonna switch these tires out and head back to the Ford. I'm really tired. Don't be afraid to throw a wrench at it. And we'll see you guys on the next one.